Hey, what's going on guys? Springboard here to show you uh, five money making tips in Guild Wars 1 2017. So these are some of these are older and really all of them are older since it is a 12 year old plus game. But be sure to let me know if you'll have any questions or anything that you would want to suggest. Just comment in the description. Thanks for watching and here they are. The list is raptor farming. I made a video, I'll be sure to put in the description for raptor farming as a warrior. Warrior is pretty much the fastest way to do this. This is number five. I wouldn't recommend this as a as a daily thing, but anytime you have events for an easy near town farm, this one's definitely recommended. Obviously people do Vatir farming, but raptor farming is a way to go if you do not want to do the uh, run to the area. This one's straight from the town. And it's that easy. Four on the list here is Zation Elite. This is really well known back in the day when there was trappers were well known for PvP as well as farming. So all you do is 6,000 Bathazar faction cap per day per account. So this is definitely a vital quick way to get a Ziki or 6,000 Bathazar faction to unlock skills as you wish. And it would be a way for you to do this as a beginner to make money. And this is where the designated town is, to the right of Great Temple of Balthazar. If you do not know how to get there, just wiki it and it will explain everything. So all you literally do, you can do this as trappers. You and three other friends or allies can come as trappers. Uh, I would recommend three trappers and a actual finisher, Elementist. You can do this with heroes as well, just you and three other heroes. Or henchmen as well, if they have henchmen still. So this, I've always done this with allies. If I do it, I wouldn't want to do it alone just because it's more fun with a, with a group of players. So all you would need is you and three others. So that's just, just how, see how fast a consecutive win. One consecutive flawless victory gives you 250 to 400 Bathazar faction or even up to 600 to 800 once you get into 10 to 11 that consecutive wins. So this is only 6,000 Bathazar faction per day, but it is definitely, I'd recommend something to do on a daily basis just for a small money maker to get that Zation key or to just use for the faction that you would need to unlock skills. In the list here, it's Ritualist Spirit Spammer Farmer for Feathers. Right outside of Suiting Harbor, as you see, all you need to do is kill the enemy Tengus and savage your crest that you get into Feathers, as well as Feathers drop here. Numerous other random merch items you're able to farm as well as gold units, purple units, and blue units. This is a recommended farm that I would say it's good to do maybe 20 to 30 minutes a day on average or even longer if you don't get too burned out. It's a nice farm to do, especially during event farm weeks. On the list here is Zation Quests. Definitely underrated as a value for money making, especially when you turn them in for reward for double points week. And turn them into gold coins. Gold coins are currently four to five actives each in 2017 near Halloween time. If you're watching this later on, I don't know if the values have changed, but it's definitely a really easy money making tip because you're able to title hunt with multiple characters and repeat the quest as you farm these quests. So whether you're doing combat mission or bounty or vanquish, you're able to enjoy the game Guild Wars roleplay as well as make money do doing it. So definitely recommend Zation as number two on the list for farming for coins to turn into ectos or revenue as well as anything you need from the collector. Number one, Nick Gifts of the Traveler. Five gifts per week per account. So if you have multiple accounts, this is definitely a vital way to make money. You're able to farm the Nick sets as well and sell them in Kaminon to others for ectos or Z-keys. So it's a good way to make money, not just for your accounts, as well as farming the Nick set items that he's collecting for the week and selling them in return for a reward. Whether you're trying to get the rock candies out of them or other rare items within the gifts, or you sell them back in return, there's always a nice revenue make in return for the Nick gifts on a weekly basis. So highly recommend, definitely as a number one from Reborn, to do Nick gifts on a weekly basis. Hey everybody, so thanks for watching this video. If y'all have any ideas or suggestions, questions regarding money making tips that I did not mention these five key points for Guild Wars in 2017, feel free to just comment. Other people might have better ideas or other ways of making money. Please do not mention anything exploiting and trading, power trading as well as botting. That is not acceptable and against Guild Wars rules. 
for everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. And this is Reborn Out from Legit. I hope y'all learned something from this money-making guide. If you haven't, then at least you watch the video. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.